Cities are everywhere, and people are everywhere, and all of us want to live in paradise. How can this be achieved? If you are responsible for urban regions in Europe, this film is made for you. It will show you the way to paradise. We call it the polycentric option. Paradise is here, says the tourist office, every tourist office. It's here, and here, and here. Yeah, 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 and so on and so on. We all know the real world is less perfect, more down to earth. All urban regions in Europe have to cope with troubles of their own. For ages, they've had to do so. Sometimes small and unexpected problems, sometimes big. After some clever thinking, we came up with four general difficulties. And so, without coordination, we all want to have our own harbor, our own airport, water purification, garbage system, computer system, library system, measurement system. And without coordination, each and every community is doing the same thing. Another future is possible. The polycentric option. Polycentricity means combining the power and the possibilities of a region. A group of individual cities, towns and villages situated close to each other. Each with its own strength and specialization in order to make the region as a whole stronger and more balanced to improve the quality of our lives. We love attractive places. We like to be in the same spot. We like to share experiences. It's an attractive aim to increase the value of urban regions. Let's look at a brilliant example. One small country in this world with a perfect polycentric option, the Randstad. This urban region in the western part of the Netherlands consists of four large cities, a dozen smaller ones and a number of villages. Seven million people living close together around a green core. In the Randstad, different cities perform different functions. Amsterdam serves as financial and cultural center. The Hague as the seat of government, as the country's political heart. Rotterdam as main seaport. 
as Utrecht as central traffic infrastructure. Brilliant. It's hardly a coincidence, of course, that the makers of this film come from this country. The various centers in the Randstad's polycentric region are closely interconnected. A good infrastructure brings many facilities within reach. It sounds like the tourist office. <laughs> no, 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 it's not paradise. Of course, the Dutch have problems of their own. For instance, a cutthroat competition between the port of Amsterdam and the port of Rotterdam. Or within the same street, never used buildings next to brand new buildings. Coordination is the key word, and lack of coordination, a recurring challenge. Yes, in the Randstad too, as everywhere. So, what to do? The answer is in quite concrete details. Let's see what polycentricity can contribute to your region. Let's consider a number of concrete lessons that may enthuse and inspire you. Everything is aging and you can't stick to the old. A willingness to change is crucial. Be creative. We must change to maintain prosperity in a world that's getting smaller. What do we see on this market? A man selling what? Selling his product. If you start a project, make sure that you are able to handle its scope. Be realistic. Cut the project into feasible steps. And keep it going. Try and set up an ongoing series of projects. One entrepreneur in Valencia started his small business a few months ago in an affordable corner of a parking lot. He owns five electric cars for sightseeing tourists. Perfect for small roads and busy streets. The sustainable car comes, surprisingly, with an iPad. The owner himself created attractive routes with interesting sights. As a public officer, be creative in response to such initiatives. Approach new ideas with a positive drive. For instance, at first the officers were somewhat reluctant to issue all sorts of special permissions. But after some negotiation, the small cars were allowed to park in motorcycle spots. Corsico, a small town near Milan. All communities in urban regions need to be alert to rapid changes. Involve all parties in decision making. Organize local and regional networks. Bring shopkeepers together and improve their mutual cooperation. Make it easy to swap and share knowledge, services and products. Choose diversity. Challenge body and mind. Start with connecting. Every man for himself is no longer possible. Music on, windows open, and at a nice speed we are traveling south through France on the long, long A6, A7 freeway. But, after 800 kilometers, smack in the middle of Marseille, 
Suddenly, strangely, the road ends at this red traffic light. So, something needed to be done. Et voilà. Good connections are essential. The infrastructure must be in good order. So, separate the various flows of traffic. Separate bus, bicycle, taxi and tram lanes. Don't forget, take care of the junctions. Create short lines, like in Valletta on the Isle of Malta. This old elevator was broken down for many, many years. So people were forced to use a long detour. But recently, a brand new elevator was put in. On the lower end, the reopened ferry line. It used to be closed for many years as well. Now it's possible again to travel between the three cities in an adventurous, quick and attractive way. Old connections restored. Creed needs a new international airport. Planners have selected the site 20 kilometers from the capital Heraklion. It's in a rural area covered with olive trees. Amidst the old groves sits a military airport which needs to be substantially expanded. This implies that complete villages will be displaced and many olive trees will disappear. The new airport will have major consequences for the economy of the Minoa region. Create opportunities for the locals. Help the farmers with finding new jobs, maybe at the airport. Support them with the development of new businesses. Improve the quality of life. Be honest. The beautiful inner city of Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. For ages, it has been an important trading junction in Europe. All basic services are available within walking distance. But what about someone living on the outskirts of Ljubljana? By bus, it takes about 15 minutes to the suburb of Pozavie. Residents tend to live for a long time in these apartment buildings. Like this man who is engaged in the neighborhood. He feels responsible for his living environment. His life has become easier and happier because his basic needs are met at walking distance. So, Stimulate local initiatives like these, so residents don't have to go all the way to the inner city. Make the area pleasant to be in. Forty kilometers from Rome, we find Lake Bracciano. In town, new opportunities are created for the local economy. These places are called incubators. Many starting businesses are brought together in one building, so the overhead is low. New ideas can be developed, like this private initiative 
to collect home movies, scan them in high quality and put them online. Everyone who is interested can buy this footage and use it as they like. The revenues are shared by the owners and this new company. Sixty kilometers from Bracciano, we find the town of Viterbo. A former slaughterhouse provides a lot of space for new plants. Set up incubators. Help new ideas come through. Growing grapes has a long tradition on Crete. Here you find the southernmost winery of Europe. The quality of the wine was given a boost when all the wineries of Crete clustered. They started to innovate their production process. In particular, the conservation called for new ways of thinking and new aromas and flavors were tested. Now it's an award-winning wine and its export is booming. Many shopkeepers like to cluster. This kind of clustering creates new centers like this one near the highway to Milan. Competitive cooperation rather attracts customers. They like both diversity and specialization. The region the specific region, its specific product and work. Homemade. So define your authenticity and originality. One step further, more than specific products, the history of a region. Like the village of Gerace, built on a hill overlooking its surroundings. At sea level we find the towns of Locri and Siderno, with its unique mixture of Roman and Greek historic architecture, like these Roman baths. Cherish the value of it. Invest in an attractive presentation. Tell the stories behind it. And most of all, preserve it. The Maltese Daisha is a means of transport that goes back hundreds of years. Only a few dozen of these boats are left. Volunteers took the initiative and the government stepped in, launching a restoration project to preserve this valuable cultural heritage. For centuries, these boats played a major role in the transport by water on Malta.
putting everything in the same big box made a revolution. On a global scale, its merits have been proven already. Bringing everything online made a revolution. Everyone is connected. There's no center anymore. Find everything with a few clicks and get many hits. Online shopping is growing fast. Making everything mobile made a revolution. In many countries, investments in a clean economy started slowly. But especially in this area, there are great opportunities. A circular economy produces no doubt a better future. Mankind is ready for another big leap. And the need is urgent. Sustainability, is it a mantra? It's always very tangible. Use new energy sources. Raw materials are getting rare. And therefore products must be degradable and reusable. This can be done in highly cost-effective ways. Create a support base among citizens and businesses. For instance, electric transport reduces pollution and noise. Provide for indispensable facilities, such as charging stations. Several cities in Europe introduced a system which allows one to rent a bike for getting around in the city. One day, all of us will be used to the system. It's bound to reduce traffic jam, pollution and nuisance. In Marseille, the docks have been renovated. Now many companies have an office there. So establish small companies in large buildings that have lost their original function. Encourage experimentation. Fight vacancy. In this 400 year old hospital of the Knights, for centuries, Doctors and nurses took care of the wounded and the ill. The hospital is now obsolete and its wards were transformed into an international conference center. Combine natural resources with attractive functions, like here on the outskirts of Ljubljana. Here they created walking trails along the river and a swimming pool. Mix the different features of everyday living, working and relaxing. Explore the local conditions. Capitalize on the things that are there already. In Valencia you can find the Oceanografico, Europe's largest aquarium. The extraordinary underwater landscapes attract lots of tourists looking for special and new experiences. The appeal of these places is highly dependent on the quality offered. Oceanografico is part of the quite unique city of arts and sciences. It required an outrageous investment. 
It is certainly a milestone in Valencia's urban development. Much smaller but also special is this private initiative found on Crete. The inviting atmosphere seems to allure and stop almost every passing tourist. And a little humor helps, of course. A pleasant oasis in the countryside. The countryside just outside of Milan has a lot to offer. Attractive landscape for recreation. Small villages with very old churches. Homemade products from local farmers, like this authentic salami. Mm. Surprisingly, perhaps, not much has been developed yet. There are still many opportunities for an array of businesses. Like here, where they started projects around the beautiful lake. So, support investors and people with good plans. Be hungry for new ideas. By the way, as Dutch filmmakers, we noticed the flat country. A perfect area for starting a bicycle rental business. This is a sustainable food production system called aquaponics. It combines the cultivation of vegetables and fish. The best way to produce food in the city, because it hardly takes up any space and involves a circular system. The fish pool feeds the plants, while the plants clean the water for the fish. And an unusual combination of purple and red light helps them grow much faster than they normally do. No chemicals, no waste. In this workshop you learn how to build an urban farm out of mostly recycled materials. At first glance, this may seem a silly project, but potentially it marks the beginning of a new era. Many ideas and inventions that looked silly at first are now used everywhere, like telephones or computers. A creative mindset is crucial. It may generate surprising combinations. An empty lot in the city. A promise for the future. What can we do here? We long for an attractive city, characterized by balanced development with effective and efficient governance, with a shared and sustained vision on the region's future development. A region that puts people center stage. How can we increase the value of this empty lot? And finally, one more essential polycentric lesson that you should not forget. <laughs>